there was a a really big story that was going viral on Twitter a couple days ago. People were saying Jonathan Majors has been acquitted, that he's won his case, that his girlfriend has been arrested, all of these things. Um, that like I'm talking tweets going viral over that. People making YouTube videos saying it. That's not true. Jonathan Majors is still doing court on August 3rd. Uh, he has not been acquitted. He has not been found not guilty. Um, his court case is still moving forward. Um, uh, and his ex-girlfriend has not been arrested, at least as of this point. This right here was an article that got put out there. Jonathan Major scored huge win in domestic violence case. This article spawned all of that stuff. And it's from a couple quotes from Jonathan Major's lawyers, by the way, which they're doing their jobs as his lawyers and defending their client. I want to pull some quotes here. Chaudhry said that Majors met with the NYPD last week. So this would have been like June 22nd to present them with evidence of what really happened that night. Within hours of viewing the evidence and conducting their own thorough investigation, the NYPD found probable cause to arrest Grace Jabari for assaulting Jonathan Majors. This is not a statement that she got arrested. It's a statement from Jonathan Majors' lawyers saying that they found probable cause to arrest her. They haven't. And yeah. all the NYPD said is, hey, no additional arrests have been made. We're still investigating this. That's all that they have said. But, you know, this probably would have been a better headline in one New York Post use. Jonathan Majors claims he was the victim in March assault files counter complaint against X. This is what they have maintained for the last month or so. This is their side of the story that Jonathan Majors was looking at his phone, that she tried to get his phone from him. When she couldn't get the phone, she started hitting him, scratching him, all of these things that he was just moving away, that he didn't do anything wrong that she went out drinking that night and she got injuries. We don't know how she got injuries, but this is our story. That's the same story they put out in court. This is just an update saying that they went to the police and said this very same thing. I don't know why it took three months to give the police this information, but that's the story that's out there. I have a feeling that maybe one of the reasons that this story got put out there from Jonathan Major's lawyers because they knew a massive hit piece was coming down the pipe from Rolling yeah. Stone, which... People at Rolling Stone, a lot of fucking pieces of shit that work there for sure. Yeah. But this is an article they've been building for three months. Jonathan Major's extreme abuse allegedly goes back nearly a decade. Jeez. And they've got over 40 people, anonymous people, that he's worked with professionally, that he went to school with, and some former partners who are coming forward and saying things. This doesn't mean that any of that's fucking true. But there's, it's not just this headline. Jonathan Major scores a big win. A lot of people have put that out there and said Jonathan Major has been vindicated and it's all over for him. That's not the case. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's lying. I don't know who's telling the truth. Uh, we've seen men lie about domestic abuse allegations. Yes. We've seen women lie yeah. about domestic abuse allegations. Right now, at this point in time, there's nothing more than he said, she said when it comes to this exact thing. And it's still playing out in court. This article is not going to look good for Jonathan Majors, for no. sure. Especially, there's a portion in there where Jonathan Majors' attorneys presented Rolling Stone, knowing that they were doing this interview, with statements from Jonathan Majors' exes that were all very glowing about him. Those same exes in the article said, we never said those things to his attorneys, and we never gave them permission to release statements like that. Yeah, it's like a complete turnaround. <laughs> It is. So what I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of people, even maybe some of your favorite YouTubers who might see a headline uh, and think something or say something. I saw YouTube videos being made about Jonathan Majors being innocent all of a sudden. Really, we're in no different part right now with the Jonathan Majors case than we were a couple weeks ago. It, we won't, yeah, you have to wait till August 3rd, basically. Yeah. Let's see what happens on August 3rd. I, and it's definitely a tactic to try to win public opinion. You know, and there, yeah. there will people that will slander his name and try to find random people to say bad things about them. Uh, but and th there'll be people on the other side of the coin that will do the complete opposite. So but at the end of the day, it's just you got to wait till he goes to court, man. That's the final judgment on the whole thing. The trial of Kang. Yeah, the trial of yeah. Kang. What I said from the beginning was my gut instinct was that something happened in that car that she wanted to see his phone, that she started going after him, maybe even hitting him or something. And the question will be, did he retaliate in any way or what right. happened? Doesn't make it right, doesn't make it like whatever. But if someone's hitting you, you can certainly defend yourself and all these things. But what happened? That's always kind of been what I've wondered. Well, it depends um, what state you're in nowadays. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Even if she does get arrested, that doesn't mean that Jonathan Majors is innocent either. 
You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So like, there's just so much. And I saw a lot of people two days ago or so basically going out there saying that she got arrested, saying that Jonathan Majors was acquitted, saying that the case is over. None of that is true. Uh, it's far from over. And it looks like it's only gotten murkier in the past couple of days. I would imagine that someone's attorney is going to say that they're not innocent or, or sorry, that they're not guilty. That's their job. That's their job. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's just wild. At the end of the day, I want the truth to come out. I want to know yeah. exactly what happened. They have been claiming they have video evidence of the thing in the cab, yet they have failed to provide that to anyone yet. I want to see all the evidence. I want to see it all get out there. And whoever's fucking guilty should be punished. If someone made fake allegations, they should be punished for that. They should Agreed. be crucified for that in terms of legally. We'll see what happens going forward, but it's definitely not crystal clear who's winning right now. But anyway, that's the John of the Majors update. It's crazy. To me, there's a lot of things that his legal team has done that have looked sketch. Like those text messages they released was yeah. a terrible move for them. The fact that you now have ex-girlfriends claiming that his defense team released false statements from them. Right. That's not a good thing, but it all depends on where it's coming from. Time will tell.